Well, my name is Porter Davis, by the way. I'll, I'll let you know that if you don't know. I, I am a citizen. I'm a small businessman in Oklahoma City. I was elected as a Republican to the state legislature back in 1982 before it was fashionable to be a Republican out there. We had absolutely no power at all. But I ran because I believe in principles of limited government and maximum freedom for people. And I've been taught from a time I was a small child to always do the right thing and stand up for the people. And that's why I'm here today. And I think this is a people's issue and we need to get that information Woo! out. Yeah. Yes.
states all over the place are going bankrupt right now. California's in line. Most every state in this country is falling way short in revenues. The state of Oklahoma is a billion dollars short. In Oklahoma City, sales tax revenues have fallen for nine months in a row. The collections that came in in November are almost 13% short of November a year ago. The NBA tax, what I like to call maps for millionaires, which was really yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was really Max 3, that's part of the deceit in this, yeah. the 15 month tax to support the ownership group yeah. that has brought the thunder to Oklahoma City, wanted $121 million subsidy from the taxpayers of Oklahoma City to bring their team here. They couldn't bring the money out of their own pocket. That's public funding for private gain. That tax is coming up about Right now, it's 13% short. So when this tax expires March 31st, that's going to be about 15 or $16 million that the city is on the hook for that's going to have to make up. Now, if Max 3 tax passes and it's an open-ended slush fund, guess what's going to be one of the first things on the agenda? And if it doesn't pass, tax, if it, Max 3 doesn't pass, which it's not going to, it's going to have, that money's going to have to come out of the general fund. Just like you're raising. <laughs> so what I'm saying, part of this, and I'm going to go over the top ten reasons why now, is this is the wrong tax at the wrong time. The big momentum that the Yes supporters keep talking about is the momentum to keep the Oklahoma City taxpayers taxed with this 17-year-old temporary sales tax. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Temporary. <laughs> It's a 17-year-old temporary tax they don't want to let expire because they don't want to have to come to you again with real projects on the ballot, specified, fleshed out for you to vote yes or no on. They want you to vote for pie in the sky using their projections that it's a three-quarter of a billion dollar tax over 93 months for whatever they basically decide they want to spend it on. That's $1,000 a person. <laughs> yes, it comes out to about $1,000 a person over seven plus years. That's $10 a month per resident in each household. That's almost $500 a year for a household of four. $1,000 per person is about $4,000 per household. Yeah, per year it comes out to about $500 per household. So That's a lot of money for some people. We are moving into economic deeper into recession or depression, so this is the wrong time to extend this burden on the taxpayers. The taxpayers of Oklahoma City need a break. The businesses of Oklahoma City need a break. Think about it. If we use the mayor's terms, which are totally bogus of $100 million a year, it's going to be more like maybe $80 million a year, if the taxpayers have that money, where are they going to spend most of it? They're going to spend it with businesses right here in Oklahoma City. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to strengthen businesses in Oklahoma City. They're working hard to provide our day-to-day -day needs. It's going to strengthen jobs, and it's going to benefit the city with indigenous organic growth. That's the number one reason we need to kill the MAPS tax. 